What about the future? Can you tell me a little bit about SoftLink's strategy and its markets? Sure. Um, we want to use our uh, strong uh, technology expertise um, to uh, build, to develop and build products that can be used for device and machine connectivity. I and we believe at SoftLink um, that um, the uh, topics like predictive maintenance, um, uh, you know, um, and uh, asset monitoring uh, will will become increasingly relevant uh, in the industry, uh, which is why um, data is is needed, and we want to make sure that this data is available. We want to enable um, uh, customers to get the data out of their devices, out of their machines, uh, to do useful analytics. To do um, uh, to to increase the the, the plant and the um, uh, instrument efficiency. Okay, great. Now maybe last question um, because when we talk about OT IT, it seems like these are two different worlds which sometimes do not talk that much. Some have a hardware preference, some a software. What does Softing do here yeah. to tailor to these groups? Yeah. I think um, one of the biggest challenge that we observe at the moment is that. Customers coming from the OT world typically don't have a knowledge and understanding or much understanding of um, the IT part, right? And uh, users or stakeholders coming from the IT side, um, uh, they, they have lacks in understanding the OT world. But seeing the, the trend that these two worlds grow together, we, we want to be kind of the I would say bridge builder between these two worlds. And Softing is in a u unique position because we have OT expertise, 40 plus years of experience in this area, but also at the same time, we have the capacity and experience from the IT side. And we bring this together and create value um, for our customers. Okay, great. So it sounds like you're positioned like a spider in the web in the ecosystem to bring solutions to the customers. Um, thank you, Thomas Hiltz, and I wish you a successful year.